Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing so-called stovepiping, yellow house books, and Thai immigration law. So for those who are unaware, house books is a house registration book, also known as a Tebian bond. Every Thai national is going to be listed in a Tebian bond. Many foreign nationals can be listed in a yellow Tebian bond, specifically for foreigners, if they should so desire. But then that gets into how does it interact with, with Thai immigration law, for example, TM30. Thought of making this video after reading a recent comment on our channel, quoting directly, I know that they originate from two different entities, but non-Thai nationals whose names are registered in a Tebian bond, Yellow House Registration Book, could there not be a way in the future for the immigration police to accept the Yellow House Book as proof of address? Also, as a prerequisite for a Yellow House Book, the, pre -regis the registered non-Thai nationals would have also been issued a pink identity card, which also has their address on it. Both of these items are issued by Thai government entities. If the, government, if the immigration police could accept those documents as proof of address, would it not be an improvement to the present system? In addition, the house registration book address info would only need to be documented for the initial registration and only reported again if there was a change of address, i.e. not every 90 days. Would that not lessen the workload of the police? Well, first of all, that isn't how they think. They don't think in terms of lessening their workload. They just sort of do what the law and the regulations require. But going back to the first question, could there not be a way in the future for the immigration police to accept the old house book as proof of address? Well, long story short, as we've discussed in other videos, the Civil Registration Act, as amended in 1991, creating yellow house books is not the Thai Immigration Act of 1979. This is where I get into what I view as stovepiping. It's two different sets of law. It's two different sets of law. It's two different bodies of law, two different acts. They ne'er the twain shall meet is, is I guess, the way to look at it. One is for civil registrar, registration of foreign nationals in Thailand. The other one deals with Thai immigration directly. Also, as a prerequisite of Yellow House book, the registered non-Thai nationals would have also been issued a, with a pink identity card, not necessarily. They don't necessarily go hand in hand. I had a yellow house book for years, never had a pink ID. So just because you have one does not necessarily mean you're going to have the other, which also has their addresses on, on it. Both of these items are issued by Thai government entities. If the immigration police could accept those documents as proof of address, would it not be an improvement to the present system? Yeah, it probably would be. It'd be more efficient, but it's probably not going to happen. Quoting further, in addition, the house registration book address info would, not, would only need to be documented for the initial registration and only reported again if there was a change of address, i.e. not every 90 days. Would that not lessen the workload of the police? Not what they're looking at. The Immigration Act of 79 specifically requires 90-day reporting. It says it in there for non-immigrant visa holders. That's how it works. Someone with a yellow house book is presumably a non-immigrant visa holder. So therefore, they're going to have to do the 90 days. Again, permanent residents, lawful permanent residents in Thailand, can get a blue Thai Tebian bond, but permanent residents are covered by different sections of the Immigration Act. They don't have to deal with TM30. They don't have to deal with 90-day reporting. And in that situation, yeah, their house books cover that. Their blue house book covers all those issues. Again, this is the difference between permanent residents and non-immigrant status here in the Kingdom of Thailand.